Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna tell you as my so we all have done uh grunter pattern. Now, this is it here. There's nothing to these. So I'm gonna show you this sort of way how to put it together. Now the hook in the base is a Amazon B170 um and size twelve. So you're gonna tie it on a straight a normal shank hook. I mean twelves, fourteen, sixteens. Uh, that would be the great sizes that I would tend to use. You can also tie them on the short shank specials, so 12s, 14s, 16s again, if you've got those. Now the thread we're going to use is the uni thread, you know, in Olive Dunn. So, we'll just come in and get our thread started, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a bit of thread down past the, the midway point on the shank and work your thread back up. Now the plumes of CDC that you use is really up to yourself but here's my view for what it's worth. With dry flies you can take away, you can't dot on. So now I've got four or five plumes here of small CDC. So what I do is just measure it to where I want and then come around, pinch and loop, another pinch and loop and then a good four or five turns as we head back. Just check your length. Make sure that you're, you're happy with that, which I'm not. So I'm going to come back. I want that a wee bit longer. So I'm just going to move it forward a bit. Because like I say, if the fish become fussy, even with the impression of the, the CDC as the wing, you can always trim that away. Now it's best just to lift this at this point, get two or three turns in in the front, just to hold it up. And then just come in with your scissors and take away the waste and a bit of a tapered cut. Now you don't have to put a rib on this fly, but I'm going to use the, the pearl rainbow. This is in small, it's a texture. This was sitting on my desk. I usually use a small Opal Mirage tinsel. So I've been tying it with this and it's turned out alright. I'm just coming in with a turn and then we'll just work our thread down the shank of the hook and just stop short of the barb. Now the body, this is some genuine Seals fur dyed in olive done. Now, I don't put on much seals fur on this type of fly. It's the very, very thin body that I'm looking because I want the arse of the fly to sit in when I'm fishing the river. So, just lightly dub the, the seals fur on. This is more for the colour than anything. Stop that point there, any excess, just take it away. Now I'll just take the pearl and I'll do a couple of turns of the bag. It's a tag and then three or four turns up the body for a rib. I'll catch that in and then come in and fold back the pearl. Now, not that that's, it'll just give it a wee bit of extra security, but the first thing to go will be the rib. Now you have a decision to make here. You can tie in and wind up your partridge, which I do second. So the first thing I do is I'll tie in this nice saddle hackle. So I'll just catch that in. Four or five turns. Right. Just come in, see the stem. Just nip that away. Then I'll get another wee little wax. And then I'm going to tie in a dyed uh, English partridge that's been dyed. A, it's a lovely colour, it's been dyed a blue dun. <coughs> right. The grunter. On 
obviously I couldn't speak highly enough of this fly. Rivers, still waters, wherever you fish. Now, I'm just going to take the tip, trim that away, offer this up to the hook, weigh my thread back to my last rib, bring my thread forward, lift the wing, and get a couple of turns in front. And then what I want to try and do is get two or three turns out of the the part reach. So I like to try and get one, two, and then if I can, another turn in front. Just depending on the on the feather. Now just come in, just take back your wing. And then we'll trim away the tip of the, ha the hackle stem. Then just bring everything forward. And then I'm looking to get three or four turns of the, the cock hackle or the saddle. So two turns or so at the back of the fly. And then a couple of turns at the front. Two or three turns at the front. Follow this around with your thread. Now, one turn's enough to hold it. Just keep the tension on your thread. Come in and sweep everything back. Being really tight with the thread here. Now, keep the thread tight. At this point, I should have had my varnish opened. And then what I'll do is come in with the finishing tool. One, two, three. Now just keep the the thread I'll try and show you in the tool. I'll just hold it here. And then we like a varnish under the thread. Just pull that through. Trim away the thread. Then you'll bring away the haggle, then we can bring it all, all out and bring it forward. Now, you can see there, you know, when you face this, it's obviously going to sit like that. So it's going to be sitting like an emerging fly, really. However, the fish become fussy. Just wag it off underneath. Just give it a bit of a flat tap on the upside there, if you know what I mean. Underneath, cut it away. If the fish become fussy, f f uh, fussy, but I will keep it like that first, guys. Because with fly flies, and I know there, there's ideas around f dry flies about too much hackle and all this. That wouldn't be my view. Best to have more on, because you can take it away, you can't add. So there you go, guys. Just a wee simple uh, grounder pattern for the rivers. Also working the locks. There's ten for the locks, but probably ten and a size ten. Um, and I'll be putting two. Just let me show you. This is the cape here, actually, that I'm using. It's a mats saddle. So I'll be using two um, cock hackle. Uh, cock hackles just to, to keep it up because you'll be facing it in a wee bit of a more rougher, rougher weave, if you like. But anyway, enough talking. So hopefully, you can tie a few of those up. Hopefully, they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It is really always greatly appreciated. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. It just helps the wee channel grow. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. And uh, all being well, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.